All right, YouTube, uh, this is going to be a review of the Western Digital My Passport 2 terabyte external hard drive uh, for Mac. Um, they have another one, it's My Passport uh, Ultra. That one is for Windows and Mac. Uh, however, if you have it for if you have a Mac, you're going to need to do a little bit of reformatting. Um, this is the USB 3.0 version, I think it's their newest one. Um, I picked it up on Amazon for $89 even. Um, this again is the two terabyte model. Uh, they do have a one terabyte model for $69. Um, but I opted to spend $20 more to get a whole other terabyte. And then they also have a three terabyte option available for $126. Um, so I just, I couldn't justify spending that much money for one more terabyte. Uh, so I would definitely recommend getting the two terabyte model just because for, for your money, you're, you're getting a lot more bang for your buck. Um, as you can see, I put some Velcro on the back. I haven't attached this to my laptop case yet, but I'm planning on using this as a um, permanent external hard drive to be affixed to my laptop case. Um, I may be getting a new computer soon. It doesn't come with a lot of memory out of the box. Uh, so this is a cheap way to, um, you know, fix that. Uh, it'll always be on my uh, laptop. If I need to take it off to transfer stuff over to my computer, obviously it's just Velcro. I can just take it right off and plug it into my computer. Here's the um, USB 3.0 port. Plugs in just like this. Um, USB 3.0 connector. 3.0. Uh, I was looking on Western Digital's website when I was looking at this and it says it supports Thunderbolt. So if you have, you want to go out and buy a, um, a Thunderbolt cable with this kind of plug, uh, more power to you. You'll be able to um, read and write faster. Uh, also to this, when you plug it into the computer, um, there's a security feature. You can password protect this. Um, you can check the diagnostics and stuff. I think that's really neat. Uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, cool things on, on the, um, the hardware that comes with it, or the software, I mean, that comes with it. Uh, you can play around with it. Uh, you can check all your stuff. Uh, this is two terabytes, so I don't really see me filling this thing up um, all the way unless I'm doing a ton of video editing, which I don't, I'm doing a lot of video editing. Um, but yeah, once again, I got this on Amazon for $89. Um, if you can find it at, at anywhere else, cheaper, obviously do that. Um, but for hard drives, external, I would definitely recommend this. It's very thin. It's um, maybe the size of a wallet, I would say. I got pretty big hands. It fits in my hand really nice. Um, got a little LED indicator light uh, when it's on. And it just stays on. Um, that means the, the drive is on and working. Um, when it's blinking really fast, that means it's either um, copying things to your computer or things are being copied to the hard drive from your computer. This is not a solid state drive. Um, I do not know the specs on the RPM of the drive, however, but uh, it does transfer things and I can put things on this very quickly from my MacBook. Uh, I had a Western Digital 350 gigabyte hard drive. I bought that a long time ago, and it took forever to transfer my entire iTunes library to it, but this this took minutes. I have a lot of songs and a lot of videos, um, and this did, this did a really good job. Another feature is that it has these little rubber um, stands, so that way if there wasn't Velcro on it, and it was on the table, it wouldn't slide, and that's a really cool feature. Um, but overall, for the money, this is probably the best external hard drive you'll be able to get. Um, once again, it's on Amazon. So if you're in the market for a hard drive, definitely, uh, definitely check it out.